Logan Paul has finally posted the video where he shows his $5.3 million Pokemon card purchase. As you can see from the title, I bought the world's most expensive Pokemon card. We're going to watch this right now. We're going to check it out. And uh, yeah, it's been a while since we did a reaction to Logan Paul's Pokemon content. So let's give it a go, man. Before launching myself off the top rope at WrestleMania. Oh, yeah, and loud. securing the first win of my career. You might have seen the card I was wearing around my neck. We did, Logan. We did see that. This, this, is, this, is, this edit is already good, man. The most valuable Pokemon card in the entire hobby. The holy grail right here. See, when I first started in Pokemon, like most curious collectors, I looked up the most expensive Pokemon card. Bulbasaur. And this was it. The Pikachu Illustrator. In 1998, a Japanese magazine called Koro Koro... Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. For the viewers on YouTube right now, I'm sorry for this, man. Wait, I gotta turn the... Actually, I gotta turn. React harder? What do you mean, react harder? I'm trying my hardest to react right now. Pro Comic hosted a Pokemon illustration contest. Only 39 winners sick. were awarded the treasure. Is it, I'm going back. This is sick with the flip. And this was it. The Pikachu Illustrator. In 1998, a Japanese Bro, magazine sick. called Koro Koro Comic hosted a Pokemon illustration contest. Only 39 winners were How dare they be this treasured sick. Pikachu Illustrator designed by Atsuko Nishida, the creator of our beloved Pikachu. Today, no one knows for sure how many copies are left. Bro, this art style is mad. Boom. They've only created 20 of them. Which means they... <laughs> Ace Grader for the win. Yo, if anyone's got an Illustrator, slide it to Ace Grader, man. <laughs> I'm joking, but honestly, Ace Grader, shout out to you, you lot. <laughs> Examine the condition. The better condition, the higher value. Of those, there's one four, two fives, one six, two sevens, five eights, eight nines, and only one perfect PSA. Only one ten. And I wanted one. I even had the opportunity to find one about a year ago, but it ended up being fake. So oh. I jokingly punched through a window and spent the night in the hospital with nine stitches in my arm. Yeah, not because nine stitches so is definitely I've a joke. I officially bled for Pokemon. <laughs> anyway, this card is a big deal. Not only is it extremely rare, they're expensive. A nine is currently listed on eBay for four million, and a seven just so who's that? Is that SM Pratt? SM Pratt, let's go. Listed on eBay for four million, and a seven just sold for nine hundred k. And the just 10, a light nine hundred k. No one knows. It is the only one in perfect condition, and at this point, it's just a rumor. There are the only trouble. The only problem with this, and I'm not trying to take anything away from Logan. Logan, I would literally have your children. I love you more than anything in the world. I would literally quit my job and come live a life with you. I'll leave my wife. I'll literally just live with you, bro, all my life. You know, just, just Logan, just hit me up, man. I'm, 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 I'm there for you, man. Should I, have, should I have not said that? What I'm trying to say is, the card is not necessarily like I, I saw the card. It doesn't look like a ten to me, but you know. PSA graded at 10, so. No Crap. pictures or videos of this card online, anywhere. And no one I know has ever even seen it. Chris, Chris picture, that's a Chris picture though, good scan. Until one day in February no. 2021. I may have an opportunity Bro, to purchase. This video is making me so depressed because it's like so good. That's his old house in Pokemon style. I may have an opportunity to purchase the one and only PSA 10 I'm so jealous. illustrator in the world. No shot. Why is it a mite? Some guy hit me up on Instagram. Mm. He said, hey, buddy. I just had a very reputable person message me the most crazy Pokemon card in the game that he wants to sell. It's a PSA 10 Pikachu illustrator card. The only one in the world that's a PSA 10. There's no chance, bro. I've heard stories about this card. It was bought by a wealthy family, and I guess they might be willing to sell it at this point. How much is too much for this card? I would go four. Four? Oh, no, no, no. Right at two. Right at two. Two million. Yeah. They want $4 million. Oh my God. Uh, oh my God. Let me call my people. I really want it. <laughs> Something's crazy. Huh? Yeah, it's nuts, man. He's got big, Pokemon big bucks, dude. He is highly significant considering your offer. King wild dog. <laughs> like, yo. What'd you, wait, say that one more time. I said I have some bad news for you. Oh no. Why? After he said that after sleeping on it, um, he doesn't want to sell anymore. No. It's all good. I don't. Even, I don't even want it anymore, man. Mother ass. My God. This is the second time I've been within arm's reach of the Pikachu Illustrator, and I failed. It's not over yet. I hope. <laughs> well, four months went by and I still couldn't stop thinking about the card, so I said f it and reached out to a friend of mine named Jeremy, an expert collector who knew the mysterious Shout out to him, seller by the way. and was somehow this guy, able that Jeremy guy's a goat. A little literal goat. He makes toys. He owns like toys companies. Um he makes like Pokemon toys, he makes like, you know, Fortnite figures, he makes like toys, you know? Like like legit figures, you know, like toys, man. But to reignite the conversation, but with a catch. The price is six million dollars. 
four months ago, he was asking for $4 million. The second option is we find a PSA 9, and then he would give us a $2 million credit. $6 million or $4 million, and maybe like a $1 million card. Mm. All we gotta do right. is find the Pikachu Illustrator PSA 9. <laughs> How hard can it be? The bro. <laughs> Apparently not that hard. My network of I swear he goes to Italy. I'm gonna call it right here. I heard in the, I heard in the great van he went to Italy, man. I think he announced it. Did he announce he went to Italy? But it was when he was filming the um the fish video, you know the, the fishing video. I heard some heard some intel. Collectors has become quite large and after a few phone calls, I found one. So you found it. He wants one two five. One million two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, let's do it. Told you! Told you! As a collector, or anyone who hears about Pokemon trading cards, this is the first card you hear about. Holy f***ing shit. These guys, these guys. No! Anxiety! Anxiety intensified! Don't drop it! I thought Andrew Tate as well, I thought I, <laughs> I thought Andrew Tate too. Hold on, hold on. I, I, I don't know if you can do that. I'm pretty sure you can't do that. Do you have to go through the Panama Canal? Do you have to go through the Panama Canal? No way did he just do that. Nah. Today's nah. Day. On that boat as well? <laughs> Today's the day, bro. I think this will be the biggest transaction in pop culture history. There's been several in the five million He makes range. toys, man. Nothing like this. Yeah. He's in the buy as well. Oh, wow, they went together. The seller, the guy that we're about to meet, I didn't know he existed. I had yeah. only heard rumors of this guy because he's so low key, we can't even film him. He's uh, one of the most private individuals I've ever met. He wants the collection to be known, mm. but he doesn't want to be known. This guy's private, eh? Nice to meet you. Oh, so nice to meet you, brother. Listen, I don't want to spoil who this is, man. I don't want to spoil who this is. It's actually me. This is crazy. I, I swear to God, I wasn't convinced that you existed. They're like, yeah, you know, the, the Pikachu Illustrator is the most. Please put a voice changer on him. Some knives out Me? there, and there's rumored to be one one. But you're here to represent exactly. the seller, who will remain anonymous. But I know him. How Do many him? collectibles are in this room right now? We have at least 15 minutes. I know him. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Mm. Bro, where's his H Graden card, man? Pikachu. Yeah, he's the best, bro. What is this, bro? This is sick. Are they hand drawn by Mitsuhiro? <laughs> Mitsuhiro Risa tweeted out Ace Graden the other day. The guy who designed uh, and illustrated the first ever Charizard card and many of my favorite cards actually reshared on Instagram a story of an Ace Graden slab. That was a proud moment, man. That was a proud moment. Now it's my turn, boys. <laughs> what you got, Logie? Now Logi? it's my turn. What you, what, what, what you got, Logie? Get out, get out of there. <laughs> As part of the deal, I uh, oh the nine the nine one secure a PSA nine. nine. I also have this is an IOU four million dollars. <laughs> this is monumental. This is historical. This will never happen again. This is going to be the biggest collectible deal ever done in history. <sighs> I don't know if I'm ready for this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh no, you did not. A custom case. No way. Oh, oh That's my cold, god. man. G.I. Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the moment we've all been waiting for. Oh my god, bro. Oh my god. What was thought to once only be a myth. Yeah. Is now sitting in front of me. I know. I'm, obviously, I'm big in the grading world. You know, I, got, I own a, I own a grading company. But it's just crazy to me, isn't it? How like from a nine to a ten, you've got four million dollars plus a nine. That, that's the difference between a number, you know. And it's like it's like people obviously talk about the H grading grading scale a lot. I I'm fully behind it. I think it's top tier. You know, it's very accurate. But you know, in time, especially like PSA, you get cards where it's like you know, it's not a ten. You know, inside of a custom. It's crazy the difference between like. <laughs> Oh, 
Again, I'm not trying to take away anything from Logan's purchase here, because obviously I told you before I'd run away with Logan and live a life with him, you know, full of bliss and, you oh, know, man, sexual tension. But perfect. I'm happy for him. Logan! This is what Logan does best, though, man. When he takes the purchase and puts it into the ring, he combines his uh, channels, you know? Adjudicator, and I can tell you the following the most expensive Pokemon trading card sold at a private sale is a PSA grade 10 Pikachu Illustrator card. Five million two hundred and seventy. Did you say PSA grade 10 or PSA great 10? Five thousand dollars on July 22nd, 2021. You are officially amazing. Congratulations. You are new. Let's go. This is the coolest thing ever, but it's even cooler that you, yes, you at home, can own this card with me. Right into the plug. Right into <laughs> so this was a very hard decision to make, but yes, I will be listing this card on a platform that I co-founded called Liquid Marketplace. It allows co-ownership of top tier assets. So instead of one person, me owning this card, we as a collective can co-own it together. I'll also be listing it for $5 million instead of the $5.3 million I bought it for. So basically I'll be giving you guys $300,000 discounts because everyone likes discounts. And I should say this, I'll be retaining Retaining 49% ownership of the card. So I won't actually have access to it. It'll be in our vault. But if sick, I want to wear sick. it out to fights or a Pokemon box break, or maybe even put it in a museum one day, the community can decide if we want to do that. As a collector, if this was a hard decision. I would love to keep this for myself, to be honest. But I, the idea of a community getting to co-own it together and blowing up the platform that I co-founded, Liquid Marketplace, was way more exciting. That said, thank you guys for watching this video. Hit that subscribe button. This was a crazy journey, and I can't believe I got this card. If you want to co-own it with me, liquidmarketplace.io or link in the description i love you take it easy bye let's go shout out to logan paul i'd love to get logan paul in ace grade and car one day that'd be sick man